What up campers? We're back with another camp cooking meal. This is one that we've never done before, but with the holidays on the way, we figured it was a good time to give this one a shot. We're doing a smoked turkey on the Weber. Again, this is one we've never done before, so we don't know how it turns out. So uh, stick with us till the end and we'll figure it all out together. Let's get it. So first thing we want to do actually is to go inside and work on the preparation of the turkey. Looks like everybody's got their own method for how to do this stuff. The way we're going to do it is we're going to wash it, dry it, and then we're going to put some uh, seasoned butter with all kinds of nice seasonings under the skin. So let's head inside. Everyone can obviously do whatever you want, but we're going basically classic flavorings. We are cheating by going using our base as a poultry seasoning, which already has a lot of sage and thyme, margarine, rosemary, black pepper, and nutmeg in it. Um, we don't like to really measure in this household. We have a rubbed sage, which is a really fine sage. I go with extra thyme because I absolutely love thyme, and this is a French thyme. Top it off with some garlic salt. Get that garlic flavor in there. We're gonna add some kosher salt. Got one whole stick of softened butter here. Mix it all together. What we did with the turkey was loosened the skin all around. We're going to start taking our butter, and really just kind of getting it in there. prepped and ready to go. Just a couple things you're going to need before you get started. Some form of charcoal, whether it's lump or briquette. We're going with the cowboy all natural hardwood briquettes. Some type of wood chips for smoke. We're going with hickory. Some form of a smoker box or a smoker packet to put the chips in. And then because we've never done this, we're going to use the trusty old meat thermometer. This one's not necessary, but always nice to have that Weber chimney starter. Just to get those first few bricks going hot. And then of course the trusty Weber grill. And this time we're going for a, a modified snake method basically, where we're gonna do about a half snake here. You always wanna make sure your chips get a nice good soak. We're going with a super dry apple cider. We like to make sure those get at least a good half hour, hour before we put them in the smoker box. I'm feeling pretty confident that we haven't screwed anything up up till this point, but uh, from here on out, it's anybody's guess. Let's take this thing outside, start the snake, and get it on. We'll go ahead and get our fire started. So now we'll let the Weber come up to temp, then we'll put that delicious turkey on there, and then we'll keep our fingers crossed. Again, we're going to try and go 225 to 250. Uh, it should take about a half hour or so per pound. So this is a 16 pounder, so should be ready around 6 p.m., 10 o'clock right now. All right, so the grill is now nice and hot. We're going to place the thermometer down and then stick the bird on.
So now we start the eight hours. 10 o'clock right now. Usually when I'm doing the snake, I like to keep the bottom of the Weber about two thirds closed, and then I'll just tinker with this top vent to keep it right around 250. It's been exactly four hours. We're staying pretty close to 250. So we're gonna open it up, take a look, make sure our coals are looking good, and then we'll put it down for the, the second half. I was gonna throw on a second round of the old wood chips too, just to make sure it's staying nice and smoky. Ho ho ho, it's looking pretty, pretty delish. Hopefully it's halfway. I am gonna adjust these coals real quick though. Actually, we're looking really good. We're like halfway through all the coals that we originally set out. Take some of these extra wet chips, give them a little sprinkle down. Gonna get nice and smoky again. Not halfway there, four more hours. It's only been on for about seven hours, so it's only five o'clock right now, but when I lifted it up just a second ago to check, that little thermometer thing was all popped out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off and let it rest, and then do all the rest of the goodies on the inside. Let's see how it looks. Ho, 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 ho! It's looking pretty good. It's smelling pretty good. That little guy was sticking out, so we should be in good shape. Let's go check it out inside. All right, moment of truth. Let's cut in and see how we're looking on this white meat. I bottled the cut, nice and tender. Let's try the taste test. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, you can see these juices dripping down. I think we could have even pulled it off a little sooner. It's a skosh towards the dry side. Yeah, that's how tender it is when you try and cut it. Just wants to fall apart. Oh my goodness. Let's check on this dark meat. I'm always a leg man. The legs are definitely perfect. Still nice and juicy. Ho, ho, ho. Gonna try a piece of that little goodness. Mmm. That is still very juicy. So maybe seven hours was right. Wow. You can see all the smokiness right in there, down here. Nice and pink. I think we did it right, guys. Let's see what the boss thinks. Try one of. Try some of the dark and some of the... All right, some of the white meat. Definitely tender. Very tender, for sure. That's still moist. Yeah, the white meat's still moist by turkey standards. By turkey standards. It totally looks undercooked, but it's just the smoke. It's yeah, totally there's cooked. a big pink smoke ring. Oh my gosh. That's bomb. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think on my next one, I'll definitely yeah. be able to perfect it, but came out really good. I think we're gonna leave it there while we dish up. This one I'm gonna call a success. It was our first time doing it, but I think we wanted to give it a test run because we always thought, you know, how are you gonna cook a turkey on Thanksgiving in your RV because those ovens are so small. So uh, using that snake method on the Weber, seven hours seems to have worked out perfect. So we're ready to rock and roll on Thanksgiving. So uh, 
If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Click that notification bell. We'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah.